Hello friends, how are you all doing? I'm happy to be here again with another video. I want to say happy weekend to you all wherever you are watching. I hope you enjoyed your weekend so far. Yes, on this video I'm talking about uh, Randy Wardrum, the Super Falcons coach. As news has come out that uh, he has stepped down as Super Falcons coach. What am I talking about? Wardrum resigns as Super Falcon coach. But before I go into details, let me say thank you for coming. If you are here for the first time and you are yet to subscribe to the channel, please consider to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press the notification bell so that you don't miss out in my subsequent videos. All right, and also have to share the video. I like to appreciate all my subscribers, the new and the returning one, for your amazing support on this channel. Thank you so much, my friends out there. I want to say thank you very much. Happy weekend to all you, to you all guys. All right, let's go straight into the gist. Wardrum, Randy Wardrum, Super Falcons manager, has resigned from the job with the reason that he needs to take care of his healing wife. In an emotional leaving letter to the Nigerian Football Federation, made available to the to the paper, the American who led the Super Falcons to an impressive outing at the Australia New Zealand FIFA World Women's World Cup in 2023, said he was compelled to leave the job by his to leave the job by his wife deteriorating condition despite the good times he has had with the team. It's been very difficult it's been a very difficult few weeks following the Olympics with my wife's health issues and the worries that obviously come with that. After much thought and consideration I'm hereby resigning my position as head coach of the Super Eagles, I mean, sorry, Super Falcons. This will allow the Nigerian Football Federation ample time to find the next manager to take over this incredible squad. I always wanted to leave any project better off than when I took it over. And I believe we have done that with the Super Falcons. We have built the squad that can compete consistently with any top team in the world. The future is bright with the current team, as, as well as up and coming under 20 and under 17 pool of players. Qualifying his stay with the Super Falcons as a success, Randy Wardrum said we had not qualified for the Olympics in 16 years, so qualifying was a huge accomplishment for the program. In addition, we beat two of the best teams in Africa in Cameroon and South Africa along the way. We played three of the top 10 teams in the world, including defending World Cup champions, and played very well against both Spain and Brazil during the Olympics. Conversely, if you look back at the matches from the 2023 World Cup until the Olympics, we had the following result. Canada, during the Olympic, I mean the Olympic champion, we played a goalless draw against Australia. We, Super Falcons won 3 1. Ireland, a goalless draw. England, it was a goalless draw, but finally lost in penalties. Brazil, We lost 1-0. Spain, we lost 1-0. Japan, and 31 loss. That is seven of the world top 10 teams in FIFA rankings, and we won one, drew three, and lost three. No other Super Falcons team has had that kind of success against the world best. This team has proven it can be one of the best in the world and play against anything without fear. 
World Drunk Tank former Nigerian Football Federation Federation President and Manji Pimik for giving him opportunity to serve the country and incumbent president of the Federation Ibrahim Gusau for the time you have given me and the opportunity to discuss with you the things that were and are needed moving forward. Your leadership will be very important for the progress of the Super Falcons. World Drum also thanked Nigerian Football Federation board member Aisha Faludi, his staff, and others associated with Super Falcons while he served Nigeria, expressing his gratitude to them for working tirelessly behind the scene. To Super Falcons players, World Drum said, we have built a side that can compete with anyone in the world. You all have been so supportive, so diligent about your work in difficult situations, and so professional in your approach to the national team. Your country is proud and should be very proud of all of you for uh, very proud of all you have accomplished. My, my hope for all of you is that Nigerian Football Federation realizes where we are in the world now and capital, capitalizes in giving more resources to ensure that you continue to climb as a world power. I thank you all for your hard work, your attention to detail, your willingness to try new things, and your overall coachability. The sky is the limit as to what you can achieve. I also appreciate your thoughts and prayers for my wife in a very difficult time. And uh, you are all not only great players, but more importantly, amazing young women who represent Nigeria in a first class way. Thank you very much, guys. Till I come your way next time, I want to say bye bye.